Hello there and welcome to Farming Simulator 2017 with me, Stocko Gloss Beacon View. Um, I hope you're well. I am too. Okay, so um, we basically gave it a go trying to use the helper um, to play this field. And as you can see, it hasn't worked very well. So I'm going to go to a trusty old <laughs> method of, uh, of doing this. And with the right click of a button, boom. Okay, so we're going to use course play for these weird, weird, you know, shape fields. I think course play is probably the best way to go. I've tried um, AI extender or something helper. Uh, let me just bring that. Is it Alt H? Yeah. And uh, it's not the AI vehicle extension. It's not very good. So we're going to give uh, course play a good go. So what do you do with course play? I don't know if you know. I'm sure most of you are aware of uh, course play. But it's just a right click and it brings up this menu box. Uh, so make sure you're on uh, field work because that's what we're doing. We're doing some plowing. And then calculate the current field's edge path. And you can see this blue line going all the way around the field. So basically, that blue line is just going all the way around number nine, which is cool. So you give it a number. So we're going to call it number nine. Uh, overwrite the edge path list. Uh, go up to this box here. Um, now we're going to start off. Uh, where are we going to start? We're going to start here. So on the map, you can see it's uh, northeast uh, going south. So we say number nine. There you go, number nine. Now, in my experience, 2.3 is probably the width, but it's just best to go a little bit smaller, just so we, you know it overlaps slightly. So as I said, we're going to start on the northeast, um, and our starting direction is going to be south. So we want it, we want to return it to the first point, uh, so it, it'll finish here. Um, and that's it, really. So then you just click this button here, which would generate. There you go. So essentially all it's done is it's just gone up and down, up and down, up and down. All the way across uh, the field, like that. And this is your start point. So what we'll do is we'll save that. And we'll save that as play field 9. Um... So you can actually show, yeah, there you go. There's the waypoints. It shows what it's doing. Um, there you go. So you can see it covers the whole field, which is really cool. And you don't have to show that because it looks pretty, pretty bad. But you can just take that off, and it just shows the start and the end point. Happy days. Um, so we're going to put the beacon view on, always. Why not? Um, and that's it, really. So. Yeah, so we can get in there and we can just put drive on course. And I knew it was going to happen. Okay. Let's just lift that. You could do this so many times when the uh, when the record button's not going and it'll work perfectly. As soon as you start pressing the record button, that's when it all goes peak time. Okay, that's actually working. It misses this little bit. I don't know why, but it's always done it. So... And what's cool as well is um, it actually reverses back on itself. So if the field's got a load of trees around the outside of buildings, um, you know, then this is really cool because it actually turns and manoeuvres on the actual uh, on the field rather so much than um, manoeuvring outside. Now, it's a bit long-winded at the moment, obviously because these are quite small passes. But once you get onto the bigger passes, it makes more sense. Um, I put speed down to. Five, and I'm going to keep it there. Um, I think I had a, a few messages saying, you know, try not to mess around with the with the seasons uh, and the speed too much, especially when you're sat in the tractor, because um, it will increase the maintenance uh, time. So uh, thank you for leaving those messages. Uh, so we're going to kind of just leave it as it is, really. Uh, we're just going to leave you in here to uh, to play that field. Uh, could take a could take a while, um, but uh, we're we'll leaving to it. And we are going to concentrate on on this. Uh, so where we left off, um, we've got some hay here. So we're going to sort of bale the hay um, and then maybe cut a bit more grass, uh, bale it and, 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 and cover it into silage. Um, and then we have to cut a bit more grass, full grass. And then that's the three things that we need. Um, we also need straw. Uh, I forgot straw, which we're not going to get until... Um, we harvest, but 
if we go to here, I think we've got a, I've got a mod installed where you can actually buy straw, which makes sense really. You know, you're not the only farmer in the whole world, so if you needed straw, you'd buy straw. Um, I don't, I'm not quite sure where it's kept. Uh, is it under pallets? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you can buy hay bales and straw bales, so we can get some straw from there. Uh, it's not too expensive. I think eight straw for five thousand. That's not too bad. So, so yeah. So we're gonna work on this today. Um, all we need to do is get a baler. So, baling technology. Uh, we want a nice cheap. I think we said we we're gonna go round. That's um, yeah. That's round. Okay. So we need to stick with round. That's a trailer. So we need both of these. Um, a bale collector. Oh, I think that actually sticks on the back of the bale collectors, uh, of the square balers. So as a square bale comes out, this thing collects it and stacks it. I think it stacks four, uh, four bales, uh, three bales. There you go. Um, so we got this one. Uh, what's that? It's a square baler, I think. Uh, what's this? A bale wrapper. I think a bale wraps square bales. Um, yeah, some of these are a bit big. Yeah, I think these are square bales, these ones here. That one is, I think that's a rain baler. That certainly is a rain baler by the look of it. The rain bales tend to be smaller. Um, ah, Massey Ferguson. Yeah, an old type Massey Ferguson. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to get that. So we're, we'll buy that. Uh, oh, we can, with warning triangle. Yeah, why not? Let's have a warning triangle on there, just in case. So we'll buy that. Fantastic. Uh, um, we're also going to purchase... Oh, what's this thing? A uh, bale collector. I think this is square bales. This is a square bale collector, four bales. Okay. Um, no, I think we're going to stick with round. And as we just bought the rain baler. Um, actually, we better check. It is a rain baler before. Let's, let's go get it. And just double check. It's a rain baler. Uh, the shop is only just down here. So again, thank you for all your uh, all your messages and comments in the last episodes. I really do appreciate. It. I do feel the love from you guys, which is awesome. Um, please keep the comments and the likes and the subscribes coming. It uh, it really helps me out. Ooh, he was brave, wasn't he? Oh, it could be a square bailey, you know. I'm glad I checked. No, I think that's. I think that's, uh, that's a rain beaner. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I wouldn't like to put my house on it. Let's, uh, that's for sure. So let's go. <laughs> let's go bail some hay and see how we get on. Lovely. I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's have a. <coughs> Auto unload. Oh yeah, so I've got this auto unload thing. Um, uh, so so basically, you know, with rain balers, they can be a uh, bit of a pain sometimes. You get to like ninety odd percent, it starts beeping, and then you creep in, and then you got to press the space bar and blah blah blah. Well, there's a nice. Um, I've gone the wrong way. There's a nice. Let me turn right here. Have I gone the wrong way? Yes. Uh, there's a nice mod that um, it kind of auto ejects your your bale, so I think that's what that Z is, uh, the auto unload. I hope so because um, it is needed. <laughs> All right, so the next one. There we go. We're up there. I just love the look of this map. The map is so pretty. You know, and the sound of the tires going over the over these paths and the mud that kicks up from it and it is lovely and it's so uneven as well you know you see the the tracks are sort of running and jumping up and down and look how filthy the tractor is we're going to need a cleaner for sure so we're going to turn the baler on and we're going to give this a go I haven't lowered the baler have I Okay, so lower. So we are baling hay. Checking out. 
second episode and we're bailing hay. What, 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 no, third or fourth, fourth episode. When has that ever happened? Oh, I can hear those ducks. So now, obviously with the course play, what we can do is we can actually course play this field. Um, so we can actually get uh, Zachary working, as well as Ewan. I just think the hired worker is kind of no more um, with these weird sized fields. Uh, we have to use course play. <clears throat> and if you remember at the start, now it should automatically... Come on. It still beeps, but it should automatically just pop out. So we're going to give birth to a hay bale. Oh no, it didn't work. It's probably because it got pieces off. Oops. Um, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'll take it. So maybe it delays one second. So as soon as it starts beeping, hopefully it should start. Uh, yeah, we should give birth to a hay bale. That's the plan. Oh, I've also got the inspector mod in the uh, bottom uh, left. You can actually see uh, the Proxima power is actually uh, still working. So I can just keep an eye on it and make sure and make sure it's working as intended. Wow, there's... So this thing should eject. They should be in the... Uh, the word. We're all waiting on tendered. <laughs> We're on the edge of our seat. Come on. Okay, it auto ejects. But you still got to slow down. <laughs> I don't see the point, but there we go. Um. Okay, so uh, at least you know it auto ejects. That's good. We might actually get one more bale out of this, and this is only a very quick, a quick uh, demonstration of you know the cut in. Oh. So we might actually get another bale, which would be awesome. So four bales of hay. I will get us started for sure. That will get. Uh, Oh gosh. Yeah, I'll be happy with four bales. And then what we do is we get four bales of uh, four bales of grass. Oh, we, we can actually do with eight bales of grass because um, we've got to be silage in four of them, or we'll wrapping four bales uh, to create silage. Let's see if I can nudge this bale out the way. Oh, I don't think we've got enough. Oh, no. I don't think we've got enough. Uh, <laughs> hey. Did I leave some down the other end? Wow, we're really clutching at straws here. Um... No, we haven't got enough. We're gonna have to do a bit more cutting. Well, that's fine. And we can't uh, empty it until it's uh, until it's full of hay. So what we we'll do is we we'll just leave you here. 
and get rid of that awful noise, that beeping. So we've got to be careful because tomorrow's raining, which means we can't do much tomorrow. Um, and then it's the end of, because we've got on three days, it's the end of, uh, end of spring. And we still haven't sown. So if we go to our... Here, um, somebody mentioned as well, said, Oh my gosh, please scroll down because I can't see what's going on. Um, so there's a bar here. You can scroll down, but there's nothing there. <laughs> um, so hopefully that, that that's, uh, that's answered your question. Um Yes, yeah, so tomorrow is raining, uh, which we're going to be, I think, here, and then the next day we're going to be here. Um, so really, um, we need to, you know, we, we really do need to plant uh, or sow. Um, so we, we do need to crack on with that. Okay, let's. Uh, we'll just connect this just so we can have ourselves a. Is it a third bale? Yeah, a third bale. So we'll cut down here. So we'll lower the mower. I'll just turn it on. So I'm trying to keep this in a fairly organised way, so we know what's been cut. And it's quite difficult using these um, these cutters that is on the what I say, you know. The, the one side, one sided cutters. Ooh. Okay, so we're doing another couple of classes and we'll be good to go. I think that'll be enough. There we go. So we cut a little bit of grass over there. Now we just turn it around. Oh gosh, I'm banging into everything today. Oh gosh. So we'll lower that. And then we disconnect it. There we go. So eventually what we do is we you know we, we get um we get cool spray on the case and, and get uh, Ewan or Zachary to to mow this mow this um this grass for us, but until then we do it ourselves. So you can kind of nearly, oh gosh, you can nearly see the uh, the path that we've done. So let's lower this, so lower the tether, turn it on, and there you go, you can see it turning over the grass into hay. Careful, I, just, I don't reverse into the uh, 
and get lined up correctly. There we go, let's lower that. So in fairness, I think uh, that'll probably be okay, but we'll just do one more pass. Just to be sure. Oh gosh. There we go. Okay, brilliant. Say back to the uh, to the baler. Let's quickly uh, bail this next uh, hay bale, and we can go get the uh, automatic picker upper, which I like using. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Beautiful. Alright, let's go get rid of this. I don't want to pick up any more hay because we're going to be doing uh, grass shortly. So let's just park this up here, go get the uh, automatic pick rubber. And don't forget, with the Seasons mod, you've actually got to store now, store your uh, your bales somewhere under under a roof in order for them not to deteriorate, especially the grass bales and the hay bales, I believe. I think the silage bales are okay and the straw is okay. But, uh, let's get rid of that. All right, we're going to head back to the shop, pick up the uh, trailer for the auto picker-upper. Just a bit conscious of the uh, the money that we've got, but we should be okay. It'd be nice to get the cows, as I said, it just a, a steady, steady stream of income. So let's uh, let's buy ourselves now a auto picker upper, which is that one there, a bale collector, a rain bale collector. I hope. Oh gosh, I'm questioning myself now. I think so, because you've got that hook. Yeah, we'll go with it. No upgrades. Let's just buy. Okay, fingers crossed, everybody. Yeah, I think the, the square bait, uh, the square picker-upper tends to have a, um, like a cage where this is more of a more of a scoop I've gone the wrong way again, I believe. Yep. That's alright, we can just take in this lovely scenery. Yeah, we've got the hills behind. And the barking dogs. Um, somebody mentioned as well, I asked a question, I said, well, what's all this about? Uh, apparently it's a soya, uh, for a pig, uh, you use soya beans, I think, um, if I understood correctly. And um, it's for pig food. So, yeah, that's a thing. So we'll have to have a play around with that at some point. But I do want to just get the, uh, you know, the cows up and running. Okay. So operating position. And Bruce in the pudding. Let's see if this will pick up a rain bale. Yes. We're okay. We're okay. OK, 
here. So we've gone to the transport position, and then we're going to take these up by our farm. So we've got the hay bales. We can uh, we can buy some straw bales. That's no problem. And we can make some grass bales for silage and grass. Now we just need to figure out where we're going to store these because they will deteriorate over time. Um, now I have some placeable mods, uh, some some sheds. But if we've got uh, some sheds on our farm to store them, then happy days. See, it would be quite nice in there, wouldn't it? If you can get rid of the combine. I wonder if you got a better... No, these are fairly small. I actually quite like the way, you know, with that combine. So let's put them in there for the time being. Let's just pop out and... Oh. And we'll put them to the side of the combine for now. So, uh, and no bales is why. Hopefully, it won't hit my roof. I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. I actually quite like uh, the position there. Actually, what we'll do is we'll just move over just slightly. Unload them here, which is cool. Okay, so let's lower that. We can put this away for a minute. We don't need it, so uh, once that's lowered, we will leave it here. Go to the transport position. There we go. Right now, I am conscious. It's uh, two o'clock in mid-spring. Uh, we need to make sure we sow and fertilize our fields. Um, let's go to Alt S. We're in mid spring, we're here. Uh, we're going to be there tomorrow and it's going to be raining, so we can't actually sow in the rain, I don't think. So I'm going to start sowing now. Um, so let's pick up our. Now we've cultivated the fields, so we just need to pick up our sower and then we can fertilize. Now, I think you can still fertilize in the rain. I'm not sure. You'll have to leave your comments down below and let me know your thoughts on that. Um, we're using pellet fertilizer, so we, we may be okay. I say we're using pellet fertilizer. There we go. I couldn't find it. Okay, so we're going to fertilise. What am I doing? That's fertilising. We don't need to fertilise the field just yet. We need to sow the field before we fertilise it. That's because I was talking about fertilising, wasn't it? Um, okay, that's the cultivator. There's the cedar. I knew I had one. Keep doing that. Right, so we need to fill it with seed. It's got no seed at the moment. There is a shed full of seed. I think it's at the end here. No. Um, there we go. So we should be able to refill 
here? No. Okay, so you can't refill. <laughs> um. Oh, where do I even refill the seed? Ah, over there? Maybe? Ah, this. Is that seed? Do I refill here? Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Okay, so what field are we going to do? We're going to do field two first. Now, we'll just check here. Um, do, do, do. Yeah. So, cultivated. Yeah, field two is cultivated apart from that little bit. I think that's a, a power line. But, uh, yeah, let's head over there to... Oh. Beep. Field two. We're going to stick it on wheat. We're going to do a... We're going to do a, a field of wheat and a field of canola. I'm going to buy field one at some point because that's nice and close. But we'll have to stick with field two, which is just up this way. Oh, there's the bees. Okay, so we're going to do it ourselves. What we do is we lower, turn the seeder on, and away we go. We are seeding, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And you can see there. So we're seeding some wheat. This is fantastic. So we've still got uh, you and firing away, literally. Um, now. Somebody mentioned a comment, thank you for leaving it, but apparently if you have um, hired workers, then after six o'clock, they, a, a they get paid time and a half or double time, um, which is really cool, which I like that. Now, I don't know whether that's the case with... Now, I don't know whether that's the case with um, cosplay or not, but um, we may need Ewan to be working uh, double time through the night in order to get that field played but um, yeah we're sewing which is good episode 4 farming simulator we're sewing now we've done some hay bales yeah, we're, we're okay I, I, I'm, I'm happy I'm in a good place at the moment things are going as per my plan uh, we should be, you know, we're slowly gearing up. When we've got time, we're uh, working on the on the grass and working on on getting stuff ready for the cows because we do want cows, and that's that's our regular income. Let's lift that up. Oh, I figured out as well where to um, maintain the vehicles. So it's actually at the uh, at the shop. You uh, you press Alt R, and um, oh no 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 I don't want to press. Yeah, I was going to get the uh, the AI extension to do this, but uh, they're awful. Um, oh, what am I doing? I turned it off. Yeah, they're awful. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not an awful mod. I just haven't used it, and I, don't, I probably don't know how to use it. That's that's the thing. So let's lower that. There we go. For the moment, I'd rather do it myself. But saying that, it's 34 minutes. We're uh, we're in 34 minutes at the moment, so we will probably uh, wrap up the episode fairly soon. But uh, thank you so much for people uh, watching and, and commenting. Uh, leaving your likes, leaving your comments. So do read every comment, I promise. And uh, it's really good to interact with you guys again. And uh, oh, I'm glad you like the new intro. Yeah, I, I love it. It's uh, as soon as I've seen it, I thought, yeah, that's for me. And uh, every year I change my intro, so it's only fair that I sort of change it from uh, from last season or last year's intro. Let's lift that up. Oh. 
Wow, I'm pretty clumsy today. I'm bumping into everything. But yeah, to keep costs down, it's, it's always nice to do things yourself. And not only that, but if you remember, you know, if you remember back in the early days of Farmer Sim tw uh, 2009, um, I think it was 2009, certainly, uh, is it 20, 2011, or the, you know, the old Agri uh, Agricultural Simulator, you had to do a lot yourself anyway, so um, it's sort of quite nostalgic doing it yourself. Oh gosh, I left the left a piece there. See, when I talk, I don't concentrate and that's what happens. <laughs> but I do love the look of the, um, the sewed ground. It may have always looked like that, but uh, I've just forgotten. So we'll do one more pass and then we'll end the episode. It's coming up to uh, you know, nearly 40 minutes. Well, 37 minutes, so. So yeah, so when we come back, uh, this episode, this field will be done. I'm hoping that the plowing would be done on uh, the other field that Ewan's doing. And then we'll get sewing on field, on field 10. Uh, and I probably will set up horse play on that one and get you in to do that while I concentrate on on setting up the cows. Maybe uh, you know tomorrow, or should I say late spring? So then you know the goal is really uh, at late spring. So if I open this up by late spring, we should be totally planted. Uh, sort of sown and fertilized wheat and canola on on all three fields um so i think we do two wheat and one canola or oh should we do one of each yeah we're not we do wheat barley and canola on the three fields happy days we do that um so we should be sown and fertilized on all three fields um and then when we come into the summer obviously uh, it's growing um we will concentrate on the grass uh, so we'll have a home whole season to you know, just do the grass, cut the grass, uh, you know, so start stocking the bales and things like that. And then uh, in the autumn, we'd we'll be good to, to harvest. We can harvest in sort of late, late summer, um, but we'll see how we're getting on with the cow stuff and, and, and all that. But that's kind of the plan. I think it'll work because uh, what we need to do, we need to stockpile as much of this grass and, and, and cow food and, and, and TMR um, ready for the winter because I see the winter, we can't really do anything in the winter at all. Um, so it's going to be, a lot of fast forwarding really in the winter maybe just sort of mucking out the cows and stuff um but essentially the winter is kind of a a, a no-go um so there we go so thank you very much for watching my name is stopper gloss this is farming simulator 2017 and ciao for now